In this video, we're going to look at how to use Sphere to show your document camera on your clear touch board. So on the PC side of your computer, you'll locate either the Sphere icon or the Sphere 2 icon. This video, we're gonna show Sphere 2, so our symbol looks like a little red S. So I'm gonna double click Sphere 2 to open that up. And then you can see that it pops up in a slightly minimized window. So I'm gonna go ahead and maximize that by clicking our square up in the top right hand corner. Over here on the top left hand side, you'll see the option for a whiteboard. So if you needed a quick white space to write on, then you do have that option in Sphere 2. If you have multiple cameras set up, then that side by side option might be an option for you. If you don't have multiple cameras, then you won't be able to use that side-by-side -side option. The visualizer option is what's going to project that document camera for you. So as you can see, I have a document labeled cultural traditions in my world showing under my document camera. So looking at the different tools here in this little purple circle, you will see that you have an autofocus button that looks like an eyeball. And then I love this little magic wand because it's going to adjust the lighting for you if you were having some lighting concerns. You have the option to zoom in and to zoom out directly from Sphere, which is great if you're across the room from where your document camera is located. You don't have to go across the room to do your zoom in and zoom out. You can reset your zoom by clicking the magnifying glass that's surrounded um, by a partial rectangle. If you needed to rotate the document that's under your document camera, then you can use these rotate buttons. And then you have a couple of other contrast and brightness options as well. So over here with the pencil and the ruler, you have your basic pin. So again, once you activate that pin, you could use the clear touch pin or you could use your finger, whichever you prefer. So I'm just gonna make a couple of annotations here. The next pin option is your highlighter. So this is going to be slightly transparent. So I'm gonna go ahead and change the thickness of my highlighter by clicking the three lines and adjusting the thickness here. And I'm going to go ahead and change that color to yellow just so that you can see what that looks like. But notice that that highlighter is transparent for you. You have your basic line tool, which will just help you draw straight lines. You do have a text box, which will allow you to type within your document camera instead of writing with the pen or with your hand. You have a basic shapes tool. Your eraser will erase uh, pretty easily. I like that you don't have to actually physically erase. It will erase those sections at a time. You do have your sweep option, which will erase everything. It will sweep all of your annotations off of that page. And then again, you do have your color option and your line thickness option here as well. If you needed to undo or redo some of those annotations that you're making, you do have undo and redo buttons here within your toolbar as well. Moving along to our third option down here on the toolbar, this is the option that you have to do video recording of your document camera. Now to do this, you will need to have a document camera that has a built-in microphone. So just keep that in mind, but Sphere 2 does have that recording option available to you. If that's something that you're interested in, please contact your campus digital learning specialist and we can guide you along that path. You also have the option to take pictures. So if I made some annotations, again on my document, maybe we didn't finish and I needed to pull this back up for class tomorrow, then I might take a picture of that using uh, this little Polaroid button and I can click the camera. And so that does capture an image for me. I'm gonna go ahead and X out of that image. And then we'll come back to that image in a little bit so you can see where that image is located. So on the last portion of the toolbar here at the bottom, 
you do have some cool features. The first one is a spotlight feature. So if you wanted to move that circle around to draw attention to a specific area, then you could do that. If you click on the three lines up here, then you do have the option to change the shape and the transparency of that spotlight. To close out of the spotlight feature, you're just gonna click that red X, which brings us right back here where we found that spotlight feature where you can also see a hide and reveal screen. So you've got some great features available to you within the toolbar. If you pop up over here to the top right hand corner of Sphere, you will notice this little paper with a magnifying glass button. And so right now I do have my toolbar checked, which does allow me to see my toolbar, but I'm gonna go ahead and check this media library. And so remember earlier, we did take a picture of what was under our document camera. So this is where you can find those pictures. So if you click on image, then your picture will appear here. and then you can toggle back to those pictures. You'll also see that in that media area, you do have your video. So if you did do some video recordings with your document camera, then you would find those there as well. So one last thing to think about, coming back over to our little purple circle, you do have this pause option and with that pause option, that's going to freeze what's under my document camera. So if I remove the book or the document that's under my document camera, it doesn't remove it from the screen. It's frozen. So that could be a great helpful feature for you as well. If you have any questions about Sphere or using your document camera with your ClearTouch board, please contact us and we're happy to help. You.